Okay, so I got another video for you guys today. I hope you guys are having a blessed day today. And so I wanted to talk about, and actually I come upon this scripture, I uh, preached on it before, and it came back in my spirit to be able to share with you all, right? And let's go to Exodus 23, and we're going to go to 8. And I'm going to show you something. I'm going to break something down so you can get the clear understanding of what it means and what is happening. Okay, so here we go. It says, do not, okay, before I have to let you know, I'm coming out of Bible, okay? Do not accept a bribe for bribes blinds those who see, twist the words of the righteous. Now, then here now 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 check this out. And you know why a lot of people are so skeptical behind the vaccine? It's because of the bribes that there are the government are setting upon us to be able to take it. You know, they bribed you. Well, they, they stopped bribing. Now they moved on to something uh, in they in they culture or world uh, more uh, advanced where now they mandating and now they are pushing it. But before, remember, they were uh, trying to bribe you into taking something. And this is when I read this and when they was doing this, I, I posted this on my Instagram and I preached about it. But I want to share and I want to give you guys this understanding and kind of open up your eyes and, and your ears. And then maybe after you uh, hear of this, then you can say, ha, you know, may, I, didn't, I didn't look at that way. I didn't see it that way because Bible does tell us about everything that we need to be aware of, right? But remember what they were saying, you get gift cards, they're giving your kids switches, you get million dollars, and some of you get vacations and free meals from hamburger places. And they were just bribing you with a hundred dollar gift card. Remember when they were doing all this? They were trying to bribe you into taking something that clearly that I feel that it may not be beneficial uh, uh, for you because again we all know it, it it doesn't matter you know whether you want to take it or you don't take it um you know if you don't have it you can get cold if you do have the vacuum you still get COVID so there you have it but why are they bribing you to take something why are they going to this extent because the Bible clearly tells you this, right? Because a bribe is something that you got to watch for. If somebody got to bribe you for something, that means that it is, is something is not right. Something is not good. And that's just when your discernment should kick in. Remember, I'm coming out of Bible. I'm not speaking on my own uh, 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 opinions. You know, I'm speaking what the Bible is giving me. Bribe. That's why it clearly says it. That's why I just read this to you. So when somebody is bribing you with something, that's because they have another agenda and intent behind it because they're trying to do something sneaky, okay? And this is what you got to watch for. You get what I'm saying? It's 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 bribery is something that can lead you in something like, like it says here. You know, it says twist the words of the righteous. Now, I'm about to get into another dimension. That was just an introduction, y'all. This is just an introduction. Now, this is the point I'm making. Now, just like today, a lot of people are being bribed they're bribing you with the word of God. They're twisting the word into making you believe what it is. And then they're feeding you the word because of the agenda that they got hidden behind something that they're trying to do for their own gain of themselves. You get what I'm saying? And this is what they're doing. And they're twisting things around because those that are, are especially those that are babes in the Lord. Just beginning to get into scripture, just beginning to understand who God is and learn about Jesus, right? And so they come along um, with these people and their minds is being distorted. And that's why a lot of these people today are becoming lukewarm because they have been bribed. They have been bribed into the way of saying, hey, you know, I'm going to show you by bribing you. And, and this is a lot of you going to say, how is that bribing? I'm going to show you exactly how it's bribing. I'm giving an example. How is it bribing uh, 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 Christians in behind their false agendas, right? Because they bribe you, right, into making you believe that they, they this is them, so you believe it. So they bribe you, so, and they keep showing, well, see, this is what the Lord did for me. This is what the Lord's given me. I got this because of the Lord. I'm so blessed. That's why nothing happens to me. They're bribing you to say, hey, this person really is of the Lord, because look what this person is getting. Look what he has. You know, nothing really happens. Really, nothing affects this person. You know, this person is, 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 is prospering in all areas, you know, so he has to be the truth. So they just bribed you with the lies. So now you go rattling behind these people and, and you wonder why a lot of people become in error because they have been bribed and a lot of you are being bribed. 
You're being bribed by false hope. You're being bribed by false relationship. Bribery is in the uh, justice system. Bribery is in the White House. It's all over on news media. Because they're bribing you out of, out, out of your minds. It's a spiritual attack. It's a spiritual thing to bribe you because they're saying, look, you know, uh, uh, what? So this is basically what they're doing. So they're tricking your mind into making you believe something while they're doing something else. And this is the and this is the reason why scriptures speak upon this. And a, and a lot of people are not speaking to this because a lot of people are not reading to understand. See, it's a lot of things that can happen from different seasons. If you look through the word of God and it can identify to what is happening because the Bible is based instruction before leave earth. The Bible will pretty much tell you about everything that is happening if you understand it and if you fully read it and not picking and choosing certain scriptures that you feel that is beneficial for the use of your needs. Like only God can judge me and stuff like that. Okay, so again, I'm not going to make this too long, but I just wanted to share this factor with you and kind of open up your minds into letting you see, you know, so do not take the bribe from anybody. Just like somebody come to you and say, hey, I got this um, um, come up real quick. They bribing you because they need your help. You know, they about to um, pull you into something that is wrong. So they bribing you and saying, hey, you know, if you do this, you know, you can get this. It's a bribe, you know, because now you're taking the risk. But they're not telling you about the risk because you're looking at the bribe. You're looking at, oh, man, I can make $100,000 by doing it. And then you, uh, your silly self do it, and then you end up while you're in jail. And then you end up and then you wonder why they're telling them because they're trying to free themselves. See, because you got yourself bribed. Hallelujah. And this is things that you got to look for. Because people will bribe you. You just got to see how to bribe you. And bribery comes in different packages and different forms and shapes. You get what I'm saying? So this is what I want to share with you. And I want your mind to be open and to be fully prepared uh, upon the things that people try to scheme you. See, bribery ain't nothing but uh, the opposite of... Uh, it's the same family of scheme, scamming, and... and, and, and 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 uh um and um scheming because they all mean the same thing. So I just wanted to share this with you, and I hope y'all got some wording from this. All right, God bless you. I love you guys, and remember, keep the Lord first in all that you do, and you will prosper. And I'm not talking about money; I'm talking about the Word of God.